Good evening. What was supposed to be an evening of Little League baseball in Albuquerque turned into chaos when bullets started hitting the field. News 13's Ariana Kraft joins us now with reaction from parents and players. People were shouting to get down and take cover when bullets started hitting the baseball field. One parent told me he jumped on top of his 10 year old daughter to protect her as people ran toward the dugouts. I was scared. I was scared for my teammates. It was just crazy. Micah Solomon was at the Jennifer Reardon Sports Complex Saturday for a baseball tournament when gunshots rang out from the Mesa. I'm like not used to it, but they usually sound like they're coming from a long way away. So it's it like doesn't scare me usually, but that one they were coming onto the field. As bullets flew by too close for comfort, families and players took cover. Some people even crawling on the floor. Isaiah Evans is one of the baseball coaches. He says his instincts kicked in as he raced to find his little brother. It was kind of like a fight or flight situation, like just like run and try to find like your close ones because I feel like anybody in that position would do that. Albuquerque police officers responded to the shots fired near the sports complex. It appears two juveniles were shooting on the Mesa. They were briefly detained but denied shooting guns in the area. During a safety sweep of the vehicle, officers saw two handguns in the glove box. But according to the district attorney's office, no arrests were made because the stop was not lawful. There were some deficiencies in the investigation and the way that it proceeded that gave rise to some real concerns about um, constitutional viability of the case moving forward. APD officials say they reviewed the incident and agree with the DA's office that the officers did not have probable cause to make any arrest at that point in the investigation. We've reached out to the administration of Albuquerque Police Department and Chief Harold Medina actually agrees with our assessment which may lead to additional training that will help to mitigate those kind of problems. Parents tell me this situation was traumatizing for everyone involved, but especially for the young teens who are there to play baseball. You never think it's going to happen to you, and we came way too close this weekend, and I'm not okay with it. I know most of the boys didn't get that much sleep that night because they were worried. According to law enforcement, officers were told to release the teens to the custody of their parents. Back to you. Oriana, thank you. APD officers say they did discover damage from the firearms at the baseball complex. The investigation, we're told, is ongoing.